everyone, I am Alex. I am Doctor. Nasar's assistant here as a guest to present to you his new episode of Physician Efficiency Series. And today I'm introducing a powerful upgrade that just launched inside ChatGPT Memory. This is going to transform how we practice, teach, and document in medicine. Let's start with what's actually new. Previously, ChatGPT couldn't remember anything from one conversation to the next. Now, it can retain your clinical note format, your education style, and even your project tasks across sessions. It's like giving ChatGPT a digital hippocampus, optimized for physicians. This feature turns ChatGPT into a true clinical assistant. For example, I like to open soap notes with a quick one-liner. So I told ChatGPT, remember that I like one-line impressions at the top of my soap notes. Now, it writes like me every single time. No need to retrain or repeat myself. Here's another game changer, longitudinal tracking. You can ask ChatGPT to keep tabs on patients with rising creatinine or those with worsening CHF symptoms, and it will remind you on a regular basis. It's not just reactive, it's proactive. If you're involved in quality improvement, M&M reviews, or research, you'll love this. ChatGPT can remember that you're leading a project and nudge you weekly, prep outlines, or even summarize emails. One command like, remember I'm leading the Q2 sepsis review, and it's on your side. Think about how often we write nearly identical documents, transfer notes, prior auth appeals, referral letters. Now, ChatGPT remembers how you write them and just replicates that tone and format on command. This alone can save you hours every week. Educators, this one's for you. You can tell ChatGPT how you like to teach, maybe using pathophysiology first MCQs or algorithmic breakdowns and it will generate content in your exact style for your residents or med students. No more reinventing the wheel. When you combine all of this, what you get is essentially a digital chief resident, one who knows your workflow, supports your teaching, and documents like you. Except this one doesn't take PTO. Here are a few powerful prompts to get you started. Remember my ICU progress note format. Alert me weekly if I'm behind on discharge summaries. Build a running list of my CME topics. The goal here is automation of your brain space, so you can focus on high impact decisions. That's it for today's walkthrough. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe, and comment below with your favorite prompt so far. For the full slide deck and prompt list, check out the Patreon link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, practice smarter.